athletes like Mac Horton. Australia's 400-metre freestyle Olympic gold medalist has thrived on the intense competition between Australia and America in the pool. Australia and America are probably two of the uh, strongest swimming nations. Um, particularly if you go back, uh, I know, I get probably a few generations of swimming. They were the two standout nations. Now everyone else is kind of catching up. Um, but yeah, the history of the rivalry is definitely there. Whether it's the unforgettable Munich Summer Olympics in 1972, where American Mark Spitz and Australia's Shane Gould dominated the pool, or epic rivalry between Ian Thorpe and Michael Phelps, or more recent duels. Titmus, the 18-year-old Australian, is storming home. And this is going to be an almighty upset. Titmus will take the gold medal. Ledecky the silver. An amazing result. The closeness between the two teams adds to the drama. I have uh, a few good American swimming friends, uh, mostly that I've met doing World Cup sort of events where you kind of tour around different countries and do a lot of racing. It probably does intensify the rivalry, I think, but also probably makes it more enjoyable because you're able to get out of the pool and just chat to them like they're mates again. Um, it'd be no fun if it was hostile. Just as in Hollywood, Australia punches above its weight as a sporting nation, but it relies heavily on funding to do so. We do ridiculously well uh, per capita, I guess, in the pool. Um, and funding is very important to that because it sets up, I guess, the systems and the networks behind uh, all the swimmers and supports them, I guess, from a younger age as well. Um, that's, that's what's really critical in swimming in Australia, picking up people from a younger age and being able to do that with the funding. Vital dollars don't just come from government. Private business and individuals play a big role. It's great to have Hancock Prospecting and Mrs Reinhardt on board. Um, obviously they offer a lot of support to Australian swimmers, not also rowers, synchronised swimmers and uh, volleyball players. But beyond that, uh, Mrs Reinhardt has a personal interest in everyone on the team. There's nothing she loves more than just sitting down and chatting with the swimmers. Um, she's always at swimming meets, very proud to, I guess, be associated with us, which is a privilege for us. So yeah, it's, it's great to have her on board and to have been able to get to know her. She just loves to hear everyone's stories, how they've got to where they are. For the first time since the Second World War, the Olympic Games have been put on hold. There's still hope that the Tokyo Olympics will go ahead next year. Everyone's uh, pretty dead set on the Olympics going ahead next year. It's obviously going to be a very different Olympics to what we're used to um, in terms of crowds and support, uh, probably quarantining, etc., going into the country and obviously coming home as well.